Hey folks, this is Jake here. It's another Fixed Blade Friday, and we're looking at the Condor Huron, designed by Joe Flowers. Yeah, those of you who are familiar with the Condor know a lot about this knife probably, and if you're not familiar with Condor knives, it's time. I've done, uh, I think, only one other Condor knife review. This one's, uh, I think, new for 2018. Uh, 20, bandit's starting to bark. For 2018, they started doing this wrap here. So uh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go see what Bandit's up to, and then I'll come back and finish the rest of this intro. Can you guess that I love my dog? Yes, I do. It's a very nice dog. <laughs> there you go, Bandit. Actually, before I talk about the rest of this, I want to talk about this little printed out piece of paper. My fellow Canadians, I've got a mistake in my hand right there. My wife wanted an iTunes gift card. She wanted to get some iTunes stuff. And I bought an online Apple card. So I got a $25 Canadian, works in Canada only, Apple card. So not iTunes. So if there's anybody out there in Canada and I can just email the stuff to you because it's it's one of those email things. You just punch it in and it works. If you're in Canada and you want that, if you give me $20 Canadian, I'll give you the $25 gift card. So you're going to help me out. The hassle of returning that thing is just too challenging for me. And you just saved me some work. So anybody who wants to do that, email me at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com. And we'll do that. Tomorrow, I'm going to go visit my daughter, my grandchild that I haven't seen yet, Truett, my grandson. So if I don't respond quickly to the email, it's because I'm busy hanging out with my grandkids. It also means I probably might not do videos for the next couple days. It's a long drive. It's almost three hours drive one way to go visit my grandchild. Um, her husband doesn't want dogs in the house. Well, she doesn't really want dogs in the house either. So... I can't leave my dog anywhere overnight, so I'm going to do the trip back and forth in one day <laughs> so that I can have Bandit again in the evening. He's got somebody looking after him during the day a little bit, taking him for walks and stuff. But that means I'm going to be exhausted on Sunday, so there might not be any other videos this weekend. We're going to look at this thing right now. The Huron is a uh, not a stainless steel. It's a carbon steel blade, drop point blade convex grind, wooden handle, uh, it looks a lot like uh, a walnut or something, uh, two pins and then a hollow tube here for a lanyard tube and like I was saying in the intro it's got that wire wrap right there so it's a very cool little outdoor knife and an excellent sheath. I really love this sheath. Made in El Salvador, the sheath and the blade, very cool. So let's put the stuff on the tabletop and take a good close look at this outdoor knife by Condor. There you go. First, let's take the knife out and put that up here. Take a look at the sheath. Really good stitching around there. Nice design work. There's their Condor logo. Let's see if you can. So it's that Condor bird logo. Uh, look at the uh, the work on the sheath here. Very nice work on it. Well made indeed. Okay, and the knife, you know, from the tip. And there it says Condor 1095 high carbon steel. And then there's that uh, wrap. I'm not sure if it's copper or what it is, but it's also got a coating on it and, uh, and a sealant and stuff. You see some of the sealant left over right there or the epoxy when they glued in the pins. This is a budget kind of, well, between budget and mid-range. So, you know, it's not perfectly done, but they've done a really good job on it. Full tang, the steel goes right down to the end. And that lanyard tube... You know, it's flared out on the ends. Very nice. And 
and a nice strong tip on the blade right there. Look at that. Quite thick right there and then gets down to the tip. Strong, strong knife. Okay, so like I said, 1095 high carbon steer, steel. <laughs> Joe Flowers is the designer. Made in El Salvador. Uh, Rockwell is around 56, 57 on 1095, something like that. Uh, sometimes up to 58, depending on the heat treatment. It's a good outdoor treatment on that. Uh, there is a bit of a coating on the steel here, of course, that helps protect it from rust. Good job on that. Like I said, drop point convex. And I'll give you the measurements on here in metric, but I'll put metric and inches on the screen. Cutting edge is 10 centimeters. Blade length is 10.8 centimeters. Blade thickness is three millimeters. Blade depth is 2.76 centimeters. We don't do a behind the grind on convex measurement um, or grind angle, but the grind angle is, you know, basic outdoor grind angle, roughly 20 degrees. The uh, handle, handle length is 11.3 centimeters. The handle thickness is about two centimeters. The handle depth uh, right here on the two ends is right around 2.3 centimeters, a little bit less here in the middle. The grip area, so between my two thumbs there, about nine centimeters. Total length is about 22 centimeters. It weighs 128 grams, four and a half ounces. You add the sheath and the, together it's 192 grams. 6.75 ounces. I can't remember exactly where I bought mine. I think I bought it from knifecenter.com. That's in the United States. I'll, I'll find a current price for you and I'll put some links down below. Uh, if you buy my, if you buy this knife from my Amazon links, then I do get a tiny bit of a commission for it. So thank you for the support that way. But buy it wherever you find it at the best price that you want to get it. Just if you want to support me, that's a great way to support me. So, special features. Well, I like this uh, wrap in here. That's a really cool idea. And you can see that they just notched it in a tiny ways so that the steel tang of the blade is still very thick in there, so it's very strong. Um, it's That's a good feature, not only for a little bit extra grip, but it looks good. I like that an awful lot. Uh, the leather, of course, I already talked about that. That's really good. The handle shape is very comfortable in hand. The fact that it gets thicker here, and especially right there, that does give you, you know, protection. You know, if you do stop suddenly, pretend this is a piece of wood or something, not a hand. If you stop suddenly, it's less likely that your hand's going to slide over because your index finger can rest right there. It's like a bit of a choil right there. So that's good. Uh, my hands are big. They're almost extra large, not quite. They're just on that borderline. So... That's roughly the size. You can see the handle is right there. If I turn it over this way, you can see it better. Pinch grip works really well. Um, that grip, I don't know what this one's called, but for fine work, that works very well. Um, by the way, guys, for an outdoors knife, uh, this is too small. Don't use this for batoning. Uh, you might split some thin kindling or something with this, yeah, it's not designed for doing anything else uh, big, like chopping through a log or something. You, you can't take the knife apart to do any maintenance. That's the one con. I I, I gave, I didn't give this knife to my son-in-law, but my son-in-law is a hunter. He does a lot of, he gets takes a lot of deer. Uh, he tries to take bear and moose um, when he can, uh, when it's allowed where they live and stuff. Uh, the one thing he said as soon as he saw it, he said, ooh, that's nasty for cleaning blood out, this wire wrap here. And I said, yeah, if you're going to use it for hunting, <laughs> that's going to be fun to clean that out. Uh, you'd have to clean it while it's wet. You know, if blood dries in there, it's going to be a little bit nasty to get out. But yeah, it is what it is. What are the cons for this? Well, the only con I can think of is that one right there with the blood. Now, I've seen some guys, uh, because the cutting edge starts, I don't, I'm going to do a close up here. I'm going to try to zoom in. I mean, 
There you go. So you can see this right here. You can see there's no cutting edge, no cutting edge, no cutting edge, no cutting edge. And then the cutting edge starts right there. So that's where the cutting edge starts. So what some people have done is they've taken a Dremel or something and they've milled this out or grinded this out or just filed it out so that there's a finger twirl right there so that they can do more delicate work. And it doesn't give them less of a sharp edge at all. You know, it doesn't give you less of a cutting edge. It's just it's a spot for your fingers. So some guys have done that kind of thing. If you are going to do that, if you're using a motorized tool, if you are going to try to take some steel out there and you're using a motorized rotating tool or something, if you make the steel hot, you're going to make it, you're going to lose its temper. It's going to lose its hardness. Not very good. So you're going to want to be very, very careful not to make the steel too hot if you try to do that. But this is just a really nice outdoorsman's knife. I haven't done too many videos of convex grinds, but um, you know you can make it really sharp. Um, it's pretty dull right now because I've done a lot of cutting with it. As you can see, I can cut with it. It's a little bit sharper at the tip. So I do need to sharpen it again, and thankfully I've got my convex grinding apparatus now. But it does take an edge very well, and it keeps an edge quite well. Uh, if you're not familiar with 1095 steel, and you'll find out that it is a very good outdoors steel. It takes a good edge. It takes a lot of abuse. It's strong. It is one of the premier carbon steels for outdoor knives, 1095. Um, and that's pretty much what this knife is about. It's a, it's a good little knife for doing little tasks around a campsite. Uh, like I said, 10 centimeters, that's not too terribly long, but you've got a nice belly, beautiful knife. Sorry that this video is a little bit shorter. Like I mentioned in the last uh, a video a couple days ago, I've been very ill the last few weeks and um, I'm just starting to recover from that. So hopefully next week I'll have more videos and a little more in depth. So this one's not super in depth, but I just wanted to let you know about this knife. If you want to buy this knife from me, I'm going to clean this up here because you can see the, uh, there you go. You can see the epoxy over that a little bit. So I'm going to clean up this, the metal and the wood, and I'm going to sharpen it up really, really sharp. And, uh, you know, if the Patreon winner of the month wants it, they can have it. But otherwise, I'm going to sell this thing on at the uh, early in December. And, uh, you know, it might make a really good Christmas present for somebody that you know. So if you do want to buy this from me after I've, you know, cleaned it up and everything, it is good. It's nice now, but I'm going to clean it up even more. Then, uh, yeah, just email me at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com and uh, we can communicate and... Uh, beautiful knife and you haven't seen very many condor knives from me let me know in the comments below if you want to have more condor fixed blades on uh, Canadian cutting edge so thanks for liking sharing commenting and subscribing and remember always cut towards your chum not your thumb bye now